Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love college football as much as I do. Um, I saw the SEC media days with Coach Jimbo Fisher at Texas A&M, which is part of why I'm wearing this jersey because I just talked about Deion Sanders. Now I'm going to talk about the um, Jimbo Fisher. Excuse me. Um, man, he ain't going to let Bobby Richard run that office. No. You saw how he was talking at media days. <laughs> That and I watched a, a bigger college football YouTuber talk about this, so I was giving some inspiration to make this video. But shout out to my guy in Georgia, um, one of my favorite people to watch on YouTube. Um, <laughs> nah, that man ain't gonna run no offense with Jimbo Fisher. No, you know the way he was talking about Petrino and the way he kind of changed his tone—not tone, but you can see his energy changed a little bit when he was asked about. What about the play calling? What about calling plays for the offense? He just said, "Oh, Bobby Petrino is a tremendous guy. I mean, he's gonna, you know, he's hopefully he's gonna get a chance. And hopefully, nothing. You know what I think will happen? What would happen if Jimbo's offense runs like garbage, which it probably will if he doesn't change anything and let Petrino run it himself from day one? Here's what's gonna happen. Possibly, possibly." Uh, if he doesn't get fired, if he gets fired this year, guess who's going to replace him as a coach? Bobby Petrino. <laughs> I'm serious. Let me think about it. I mean, I know it costs a lot of money, but Texas a and is a big university. They want to win football games. They've been competing with people for a long time. They are good enough to win at least 10 games a year, right? Talent-wise, look at who they got. They should be competing with Georgia and Ohio State and Clemson, all the big boy programs. You know what I mean? Talent-wise, right? On paper, on paper, they should be able to do that. But they could, and nowadays they can't even win or go to a bowl game. So if Jimbo don't get his stuff right, that is it's possible. If he gets let go of or he gets fired, or maybe they cut you know, they like like they did with Jim Harbaugh, where they changed his contract up. They have uh Petrino there saying, Hey man, get your stuff together, or he's going to run the offense. So I just noticed how he said, well, I don't have any problems in running the offense, calling plays, or whatever it was, however he said, I'm trying to talk like Jimbo did. But now that man ain't going to run nothing, not if he ain't got to. I mean, Jimbo's going to run that offense. That's I saw that today, and then unfortunately, I think Texas a and might be 7-5, and five, or worse, like I said about a month ago, because he hasn't changed anything offensively. I mean, I personally think it's outdated, as teams are better prepared for now, because he literally does nothing different. And, again... Personally, if I hired Petrino to run my offense, there's no shame in that. That man knows how to put up points. He knows what he's doing. You know, you got two masterminds of college football working together to get some W's. But, nah, no, not a chance. <laughs>